Hello my creatives, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to make this starfish. It's a free pattern by Sinsit, C-I-N-C-I-U-T. It's just called starfish and it's really easy, really fun, really fast. So I'm So I'm using worsted weight yarn and a size G hook for this. I'm making a starfish in navy. I'm going to make the little beads in white. So we're going to start off with the body. So what you're going to do is chain two. This is what it's going to look like. So I already made one, but we'll make it. Um, you're supposed to make two. So we're going to. Do our slip knot, stick our hook in there, chain two. Then you're going to single crochet five into the second stitch from the hook. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Row two is increasing each stitch, so we're gonna have 10 at the end of this round. It's going to do two single crochets in each stitch until you have 10. Now here we have 10 stitches here for row three. It's numbered two on the pattern, but um, for the third, we're going to do a single crochet and then increase in the next around until you have 15 stitches. So we're gonna do single crochet one and then increase so one two three four five six seven eight nine you just work until you have 15 by single crochet and then increase in the next so once you have 15 moving on to round uh, four, which is marked three on the free pattern. So you single crochet in the first two and then increase in the next. You can use a stitch marker here if you want to, but I'm just gonna count. So one, two, increase in the next. So this will be our three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So single crochet two, and then increase around. Okay, here we have 20 stitches. Make sure to count your stitches. On the next round, the last round, we're going to single crochet in the first three stitches and then increase in the next. So one, two, three. If you're a beginner, I recommend light yarn, not dark to see the stitches easier. So that was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen, fifteen, and just a single crochet three and then increase in the next until you have 25 stitches. So at the end of the last round, round four or five by my count <laughs> you have 25 stitches so you're going to bind off here so just slip stitch into the next stitch chain pull your yarn so now you have make another one so you have two of these the pattern says don't fasten off after the second one but i did fasten off i tried making the legs um, but I didn't like the way they were coming out so I made my own pattern for the legs so I'll show you how to do my way my way or the highway <laughs> just kidding so I made three legs already we're gonna do five so to follow along you need the same color yarn same size hook size G and we're gonna go for Round one, going to chain two and then single crochet six. 
I like increments of six, not any other random number, five or seven or eight. I like six. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet in the second chain from hook for row two you're going to single crochet around with, which is going to be just six stitches so one two three four five six at this point you see it's curving outward this is what I call the wrong side and in there is the right side I like the way the right side looks so I'm just gonna push it out with my fingers and make the right side show also I want to close up this hole because it looks quite large I'm just gonna pull that tight stick my finger in there to turn it inside out or the right side out yeah <laughs> For row three, we're going to single crochet two and then increase to make eight stitches. You can use a stitch marker, you don't have to. So we're going to work one, two, increase, five, Six, and then increase will bring you to seven, eight. Okay. For row four and five, you're going to single crochet around. So I just say eight stitches around times two rounds, 16 stitches. So I just count 16 from here. But that's just me. So single crochet for the next two rounds. So at the end of round five, you could see it starting to take shape. Round six, we're going to single crochet three and then increase to have 10 stitches. So one, two, three. Increase will make it a four, five. Then we do six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the increase. Rows seven and eight, going to single crochet around. So I just say 20 stitches, but you can single crochet 10 for the next two rounds. At the end of round eight, this is what it looks like. For round nine, we're going to single crochet four and then increase. So that will give us 12 stitches at the end of this round. So let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four, and then increase for a five, six. One, two, three, four, increase. Okay, we have our 12 stitches. Make sure you count your stitches, make sure you have the right amount. Uh, row last round. 10 is single crochet around, which is 12 stitches. So here we are, we did our 10 rounds and I've made three legs before. So I just wanna bind off, so stick, uh, slip stitch, chain, and leave a long tail for sewing, sewing it onto the body. Okay, I like to flatten it just to make sure that they're both the same length, same number of rows. So we have one, two, three, four. We just need one more. And this is our body, uh, top and bottom. So let's do, do, do five legs total. So what we're gonna do now is put the starfish together, the sea star. So you're going to take your uh, large eye needle, then you're going to take one of your legs, put the yarn through the large eye, 
okay and this has 12 stitches on here so you're going to do five stitches on the top body and then uh, sew five stitches on the bottom body so let's go ahead and just get started so just attach anywhere you think looks nice so I'm gonna do this stitch here just grab between the two loops and mattress stitch whip stitch whatever you want to do so one two three four five and I would leave one open then I would just go through the last stitch you did and skip one and go into the second stitch from that spot now we're going to attach that to the bottom you don't have to pull too tight because we're going to go one more round of sewing after this so here you are and attach to five stitches so one have one stitch left here so now you attach the top and bottom and one leg so you could just go one more time through and just leave your yarn because we're gonna put them together tie them then grab your next leg grab the yarn Okay, we're gonna do the same thing right next door. So let's do one, two, three making a baby mobile so I need to make these a special color four five otherwise I do recommend lighter colors okay so you're going to you did five then you're going to put your hook in this um, <laughs> put your needle in the same stitch you just uh, did skip the next one go into the second can pull tight but not too tight so now let's go ahead and sew them now you have to count five back from here because it's gonna attach like that so one two three four five okay here we go one two three four five stick on uh, top to bottom so that's one Two, three, four, five, and then just go ahead and sew the hole shut. So you have one stitch here. And then one stitch here 
Let's go ahead and sew those together. put my hook through the center so there's no hole now you could tie the centers together just go ahead and attach all the legs like that uh, before you attach the last one um, you need to stuff it and you can also put eyes on top if you want um, and then let's see how it looks so before I sew on the last leg, I'm going to go ahead and stuff with the same color yarn. I prefer stuffing with yarn versus fiberfill stuffing because um, when I sew in my ends, the fiberfill doesn't poke through and it's much cleaner, nicer anyway. So here we are. Let's take some of that same color. star so here I stuffed the star I'm about to put on my last leg just go at it Here I am on the last part. I sewed my starfish and I, it's stuffed and everything. So I just need to weave in my end. And if uh, the yarn is too short, you can always use your hook. Let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, and there you have it. If you wanted to add a little bit of interest to your starfish, you can go ahead and do these white dots across. So you just insert your hook close to the center and then come out one stitch up. And just keep back stitching one stitch down the leg. I'm using white because it gives it a nice little contrast. And this is what my star looks like. Maybe yours has beads or sequins or maybe even eyes. If you want to see the pattern instructions, please go to olenahuffmeyer.com, drop me a line, let me know how you did with this star or if you did it in any other way. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends so they too can unleash the creative within.